Oh, hi there. I'm Dr. Cindy Harley, and I'm going to break down the process of cellular respiration in less than two minutes. During the process of aerobic cellular respiration, the cell's mitochondria convert glucose and oxygen into carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. Cellular respiration starts with glycolysis, which splits the glucose molecule into two pyruvates. This requires two ATP, but it generates four for a net gain of two. Next, the pyruvates are converted into acetyl-CoA molecules. This produces two carbon dioxide molecules, one for each acetyl-CoA. The acetyl-CoA molecules enter the citric acid cycle in the mitochondrial matrix. The citric acid cycle is a series of chemical reactions to release stored energy through the oxidation of acetyl-CoA. Two rounds of the citric acid cycle, one for each acetyl-CoA molecule, produce four carbon dioxide molecules, two ATP, and the electron carrier molecules NADH and FADH2. NADH and FADH2 bring electrons to the electron transport chain which are protein complexes in the inner mitochondrial membrane. During oxidative phosphorylation, electrons move down the electron transport chain, causing hydrogen ions to cross the mitochondrial membrane. Because these hydrogen ions are moving from high concentration to low concentration, the energy they give off is harnessed by ATP synthase and used to convert ADP to ATP. This produces water and 34 ATP. And there you have it, cellular respiration in less than two minutes. For more short biology lessons, check out the Visible Biology series on our channel. See you next time.